Today I'm going to be showing you how to clean RAM and also how to transfer heat off of RAM with a very simple modification. For this tutorial you will need a couple sticks of RAM to work on, aluminum tape or copper tape, copper tape actually works better, a pair of scissors, and a brand new pencil with a brand new eraser. We begin by looking for some gunk on the RAM and what you can do is you can actually use an eraser to get excess gunk, dust, and just residue off the actual teeth of the RAM. Now this trick I actually learned from uh, an arcade repair shop re repairing the old motherboards on arcades so just go ahead and lightly use the eraser to get some of the gunk off. Obviously results are going to vary depending on the age of it. And just for everybody there at home, make sure that you are grounded, meaning low static, but for the sake of the video I'm not being too too careful and for the sake of time. And you do want to do both sides. Yeah, I don't know how well you guys can see how it shines up. They also do have some alcohol pens, alcohol based pens that can do this as well. Um, you can usually pick them up at Radio Shack. But it really gets a good shine on it. Just gonna do this other one here. See how gunked up it is. Oh, on the back it really is. Okay. Basically, the metal on here tarnishes, and this is a good way to get the tarnish off cheaply and effectively without really damaging the teeth. It's soft enough but tough enough to get it off. As you got to keep in mind the teeth are usually gold, silver and just a just an just a mesh of different metals. Now that we've cleaned the teeth onto the next portion. If you find that your RAM is having some mild heating issues, I recommend taking off the stickers. Um, especially if it's not under warranty anymore and if you have no intention on selling the sticks individually. And for the most part, it's fairly simple to get these off. Just don't rip them off too fast because you, depending on the adhesive, you may actually pull a chip right off of it. Now the ones on the back, I don't know if we can get those off without scratching the board, so we're just going to leave those on. There's no chips on the back of these anyways, so that's okay. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to cut a couple different strips of the aluminum tape. As I said before, copper tape can also work. Actually it works a lot better, but it's a little more expensive, and since we're basing this a little bit on price, we're trying to get going to get it as low as possible. Now you can only peel it on one side usually so unfortunately we are going to waste some tape here but what we're going to do is we're going to cut two little strips here off of each one. Make sure that's the peel side And what we're going to do is we're going to cut little squares that can fit on each individual RAM chip. And the reason for this is we're going to attempt to transfer some of the heat off of the RAM onto the tape and then let your computer fans do the rest or the airflow of your case do the rest.
Now, depending on what type of RAM you're using, the chip size may vary. Obviously, if you have to cut it down, cut it down. And I've even known some people to actually put a little thermal grease on there before putting it on. But for the sake of simplicity, we're just going to do the tape directly. And you got to keep in mind, it's not really going to hurt anything as long as it's not touching the rest of the board. Because we had stickers on here to begin with. But since it's a metal stick, it should actually help transfer some of the heat. And when done, it should look something like this. Um, obviously, performance increase may vary, heat decrease may vary. I will leave a couple links below how to actually test your RAM and how to actually test the heat. But for the most part, this is it has been cleaned, so it has a better connectivity. And we've put aluminum tape on each chip to help with the heat. And that's it. Have a great one.